Patrick Patrick Hammond. Do you want me address? Yeah, give your address. Fifty Hampton Street, Patrick. Born in Tenard Street. Born in Tenard Street in 1910. Yeah. As far well, I know a good bit about it, and it was an old uncle of mine, and he told me about Bilbrigan. And all that was in Bilbrigan was a house at Sea Point and uh, the old tower. And they lived in the old tower, and their name was Dorn. And his mother got married to the black man Carton and he was on the beach, he was a watchman on a little house that was on the sea point. And that's going back nearly two hundred years ago. So if I don't know about Bill Brigham, there's nobody else know it because it was drummed into me hundreds and hundreds of times. And but Brigham Fourth Street was Clenard Street and there were six thatched houses and a little chapel. And it ran from the place where the tan yard was, the, the Liberty Hall, up out of the West Gate where Jebby Smith's house was. And that was Clenard Street in them days. And out through Fulham's, didn't it? Hmm? <coughs> and out through Fulham's then there was a right away, was there, somewhere from? Coslow's Cross or something. The head that, where the church was, wasn't it? The church was, it came out. That's, that's where the, the, the canal, that was, there was a, a head there across. Yeah. But the, then they built the West Gate and they ran the river down for the mill, for the old mill and the factory. There's no water and there's nothing. And it lived the mill when it started first, the linen mill. And the water was pumped from Landy's Lane, the river ran round on the there on the Mary Jane Hall's old house. Where Cochran shop was Cochran shop it was she owned it that Clint sold it, that's who owned it. Yeah. Jane Clinton's. The Aunt Mary Jane bought Jane Clint, but the river ran on the there and it was at the back of Larry Landy's and the gas engine in Stacey Street used to pump the water over for the factory from that river. And the mill was driven on the river, but when the electric and the water came into the town, they were done away with. Yeah, yeah. The gas engine was not Station Street, was it? Station Street, and the tank was up in the big, big tank up on top. Is it that? There's a tank still up there. That's the same. That's very interesting. That's it, Jack. That's yeah. the same tank, and, and that's where they got the water for the wash house, the dye house. I have not avoid that tank. And so, then yeah. they got in electric, what you call a dynamo. Then yeah. they got their own electric. Yeah. It was gas before that. Yeah. Gas work was there yeah. before that. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, that's as far back, and that's going back some years. Yeah. And the old Marks, yeah. his mother was a Dorn. Yeah. And she married the black man, Cartons, and he had a he was a class of a watchman, but he had a boat and he got drowned and she got married again the, the second time. But the black man Carton was the first and he had the boat and he was the first man down on a little house of a brigand. Yeah. Sea pied. Cool. Yeah. Black man, what did they call him the black man back I don't know what they call him. They had neat names, yeah. just the black man card. I don't know yeah. what he put it was John or Jimmy, I couldn't tell you. Yeah. But they call him the black man card, and that was Marks and Mary Jane's. And then he, she got married then to a, to a man from RD, Matters, the fishing man. Yeah. Matters, that's what the Matters is called. Oh, is that what, them, uh, uh, what do you call the. Sean. The Sean, all those. Uh, oh, I see. My mother's family. She, yeah. she, she, she Your mother was a Matters, wasn't Yeah, it? she's yeah. Matters. Um, so you were just his mother. Yeah, that's and a Billy White's mother. Oh, I see. That's the three of them. Yeah. And the Sean, the John Potts, and the Gordy. That was the second family. Ah, oh, yeah, I see you now. And Marx and Mary Jane was the fourth family. Tarts. Yeah. Very good. Mm. Yeah. You yeah. know. Now, what's the Did next it, program? Are you were telling me about Smith and Company starting at the back end? They started at a little thatched house where Smith was. Smith was his name. Was the man that had the place. Attached house that ran from the station, which is shop, he classed where shop he had, and it ran to the garage. 
Yeah, between or be Andy Hoyt's was. From right. Andy Hoyt's. Yeah. Yeah, it's still on the couch. Yeah, that's what That's true. That was smitten called this. And I tell you who lived in it, the last man that lived over there was Jack Dunn's from Iron Street. Oh. That's Jimmy Dunn's father. Yeah. They lived there at last. Yeah. 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 That's the last. That they lived over in St. Iron yeah. Street. And that's where he started. And Mary Jane Hall had a shop before that. That's right. I have a and phone. She, and she got that. Yeah. What do you call it? She got that place there where she is. What was the name? And now, can I had it said there a few minutes. It's Jason Street. I have a photograph. Same sentence. Yeah, sentence. That's where yeah. she. Yeah. Yeah. And that Cochran's house, little house, that came in on it. That was. The, and the, they went to be chance. Yeah, that's right. That was her place. Oh. I, I have a photograph of, Miss, uh, of the old shop at the corner of Station Street. The where, old hatch place. The old hatch and Mary well, Jane well, that and my mother. That's, that's in the in the Indians when Smith and Cookie started. Yeah. And that's where Smith and Cookie started, Jack. Yeah. yeah. And they were going and they got going then the bit of factory. They they're all English people that came in. Yeah. He came in from England and he'd just seen a man and he's asked them, All I want is to see Smith and Company. Yeah. That's all that was in there and that's where it got the name. Oh I see. Smith was his name and the old man yeah. making the sock. Smith and Company and that's where it starts. That's where it starts. But you, you were saying that the McGowns never closed the gate there, coming out, there was a right away through, at Dr. Fulham's rather. Oh, the one in Clenard Street, uh, yeah, the tan yard, yeah. that ran off where I was telling you about Liberty Hall and Clenard Street was, yeah. the tan yard, over into the back at where uh, Johnny Books and Derrams, yeah. out on in the Landy's Lane. It was a right away. Then. That was a right away. That was the the first part of Elbrigan. Yeah. An arch there and old Marx told me you see that the first houses was in the Nard the old St. Arch Street to see Teddy Gady. I'll tell you he Teddy Gady over there. It started at Liberty Hall across from the Tan Yard, he says. Liberty Tan Hall. Liberty Hall. That's that's where it all done the the, the right the school and 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 you know. I remember Liberty Hall before we were born myself. Oh, I, but where, you remember Black and Tans broke it up. Yeah. Remember Andy Cochran used to live there? What's our son? Oh no, Joe Cochran. Joe Cochran. What's that? Because he gave way before, and then, what do you call him? There was a big hen that lived beside them, and then Joe born. Yeah, I remember Joe Cochran all right. Aye. And that's where Liberty Hall was there somewhere, was it? Liberty Hall, I don't understand you, but there's a gateway there, yeah, facing oh, the yeah, That's right. Facing the Tanya, the gate was. Block facing the gate yeah. with a walk right. Yeah. But we're never locked. That's what we were always open. And we, Dr. Fulham's place was the gate. Oh, he said the marsh, he never locks the gate. Oh, no, he said that's a right away, the river. The river, he said, he says, no, a, a part of the river was taken down, it was still a right away. Oh, I see. That's how they made the river, ran yeah. it down. Yeah, yeah. To stop this. And the old river that's going down the rocks. I had to build all that. That was a, just a laneway across, the little wooden steps across. Yeah. And they built it up. And they put the rocks and the, when it filled up, it flowed over. But it used to flow, he told me, where he and his shed was, the big black sheds. You know the old yeah. shed? Yeah. That's where the river ran down and around down. the wall. Oh. And they changed all that when they've yeah. done the canal. Yeah. Put the canal in for, for the river to bank up the wall. Oh, yeah. yeah. And the, Control it. Yes, and they owned the knock as well. Gallons owned the, the knock of them. Yeah. There was a gate there, they had to key the gate to open the knock. Yeah. yeah. And when the, when the river was low here, they turn on the one above the Rudri. A pope of Rudri there, just. Yeah. I forget yeah. the name of the place anyway. Yeah. The cross road up there. Hey, and you turn the water on and, and it ran down in there, the the, the knock. Yeah. The yeah. knock cross. Yeah. Yeah. That's very interesting. It used to fill it up. Yeah, very good. And when they wanted to clean the canal out, they used to go on the holders, they had an old raft and they'd be cleaning at it. And to shut the gate, and it'd be only a river coming through the middle of it. Yeah, yeah. But the river at first used to come down along the, the side of the, the back lane, you know. Yeah, down the house. Right down the hill, the 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 the
down along the bike of Hogwarts. That's uh -huh. where the river, that was the road of the river. Yeah. And that's where we're breaking out his name. Do you know that? Yeah. That from, the from the river. Uh -huh. The Bracken. Yeah. And Bracken is Irish. Yeah. But Bracken is Bracken. Yeah. That's the, yeah. the river of the White Trails. And they will have a look at it now. Oh, <laughs> White Trails. That's right. Really one of it. the best rivers in the world. You know, yeah. They used to come from American fish. Oh, why? Wheat trout. I got wheat trout myself with my old uncle, the chair, the lad, I don't know. <laughs> you know, lad. Left the penniless. Lady Hamlet, lad, I know, it's the time of that. My great grandfather came in as a painter and decorator for Lady Hamlet. Hamlet. And that's where Dave Hammond started, and he had five children. Yeah. Oh, and uh, it was three women and two lads. My grandfather and old Freddy, you know, Tim Hammond and George Hammond. Yeah. He's the man that done away with the lot. Jammed the whole lot, lost the whole lot. God. Left them penny. The two red houses in Dublin Street, she built them for him. Lady Hamilton. Lady Hampton. Hampton. Yeah. Woman of old. She, she was for the start of it because anyone that done any of it would bring and she never took a penny out of it because anyone that was living in there. I know for a fact I've seen it. And built a house, got a bike, paid the solicitor five pounds and got with it. And Mr. Lark, and of course I shouldn't say it, but yeah. he got the dot. He would know when got the dot. Yeah. Strong, isn't it? That's, 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 now, that's, there's where we can start it, Jack. Yeah. And you can put anyone, I, I, if you can tell them where to start it. It started in Station Street, in the old house. That's where Smitten Companies and then Metchets could. Yeah. Yeah. And Lady Hamilton, anyone that came in to do business, she gave them land to build on it. Gave them all the chance. She finished, she fixed them all up. Yeah. She was the nicest person that was ever in the brig of the world. Do you remember it, man? No. I do remember a bit of them, Jack, but it was only small. Old Marx told me there was the people that owned, owned it. It was only the old horse and car, the lad going around with them, you know. Yeah. Them days there was no motor cars, oh, eh? Yeah. The yeah. old horse and cars. Yeah. That was different. Yeah. Different times, you know. Yeah. You know. And then what time when you went into work in the factory, did you, Barney? I. We did the walk at the factory when I was 14, Jack. I walked in it until it got bad and I went up then uh, to Dublin. I went from Dublin, went, went back to Dublin then, went to Hosey. Yeah. The fully fashion died there. Yeah. Yeah. It really died there. The, 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 I don't know where it was. There was no fully fashion made now at all. It, yeah. I don't know where it was. Well, it was an air machine at all making it. Uh, what, what year did you go into the factory, man? Oh, we did the factory in. Uh, Right, 1924, yeah. around 24. Yeah. What would you, you'd be walking on a frame then? I was with the, I was with Jim Fanning and we were making, what well, was on the frames, the 12, the old towers, you know, with, yeah. with, the, with the old engine, the old steam engine. And I went and we were making on the way was the last of us. Yeah. What would you start off with about half a crown a week or five? Oh, money! Huh? <laughs> I say that, yeah. Six children a day. That was great money then. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was great money. And I was with that and I was with Jim Fan and I got a pound a week and Jim, of course, died and I was still at them and the Tosh took over. Yeah. And that was the end of them. Uh, the underwear machines, he sold them. Yeah. And there was a man in Dublin took them on and I went up the walk with a man and he wanted to make them over there until he had the place built. But I went up to Dublin, I got a job in Dublin. That was that and I went from Dublin to, to England and that was the Oh you you were in England were you man? Oh we done six, seven years in oh. first job I have got. What part of England were you? Birmingham. Birmingham. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have a brother over there, apparently he's over there and a sister. Right there. No, Joe. Joe. And Rita's, my brother and sister. I should sure know them. Yeah. It's just that long since I yeah. see them, yeah. I get, I get He's them. over there about 40 years or more, you know. He would be, yeah. 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 Mm. It's about six 
years of my life, I, mean, I had no trouble. They're great job. ESP was working for. Electric power. Sorry, you didn't stay with me. Huh? Yeah. I wanted to come back to the first herself. <laughs> I get that to get married. She wanted to get left on her own. I know. Yeah. But yeah. Different times, of course. Yeah. 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 You know. But I had a nice six years and I was pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Very good. What was Christmas like you now? You as a young lad, you know, Christmas would be completely uh, not gas people. lights and gas, no electricity. Ah, candles, my more candles. Yeah, the gas only in a dying house. Did people did the part of an oil. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You had to go for the part of an oil for the lamp. Yeah. Right. And the globe for the lamp. They used to crack the globes for the lamp. The globe, the yeah. globe. Oh yeah, what's it? Yeah. Oh, do you think? Yeah. It was desperate. But uh, they, 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 they had to do it now they never live. <laughs> they never live, right, you know. Ah, yeah. And, the yeah. different times she got yeah. together. And Heaney's was the shop then, was it still? Heaney's. Heaney's was the, was the hardware yeah. shop. Yeah, and toys at Christmas, you know. Oh, at Christmas, well... You got your stuff and you put your hung your stuff and I hope you got something. Oh, you got it. Yeah. You'll always get an orange or two or something. Or a, a jersey or a pair of stockings. Ah, oh, no, there was none of them then. Oh. All right. Oh God, you were lucky. You had any of them then? Yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, no, no, yeah. no. You were well off then. Not like nails. Yeah. So. The hot nail boots. Ah, oh. no, I know boots most. I know boots exactly. You went to school then in Chap Dole School, didn't you? I went to Chapel Lane, opened uh, Chapel Lane, yeah. And then I went from that when I got. I tell you where I was confirmed, in Drada. Mary Jane. Jack, she wanted to send Jack. She learned, oh, she thought the word of Jack. That's the. Yeah. Hell is that. And he wouldn't go on his own, and they took me out, and, and I went down with him, and I was confirmed in Drada. Oh, yeah, did you go to school in Drada? Ah, oh, but sure I didn't. I was, I was a mile in front of me, said, well, shouldn't I? I? He wouldn't go on his own. I had to go with him. Oh, yeah. And I got confirmed below. Oh, the can alone confirmed me below and draw it. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, oh. uh, yeah. But sure, free pass on the train, my father. Oh, yeah. It was only about five or six shillings yeah. for the quarter below and draw it. Yeah, yeah. How uh, long ago walk from the station down, though? Oh, they wouldn't do it now. Yeah, they wouldn't do it now. Oh, that's a long distance from, from the station over to Westgate. Yeah. <laughs> they, they, they're not saying that way, man. There was an old Christian brother there, and he came in one day and put his finger up and caught me. Yeah. You want me to go to the garden? <laughs> no, I went to the garden. Go on. I had you here. And she see, you know how to cook the ladies? I do. But she said, that's. I did, no one told me, he I just says that he can do what he he's told me. <laughs> he sat in the yard, he had to get the yard and walk with him. But there were times I was there, oh, I changed. Ah, oh, for the Lord's None sake. Of that, yeah. None of that at all, now, you know. But yeah. as I say, when you think of all the, the dairies that was round the town. Well, I tell you, I might have been a bit cleverer than I was. When they took me out of the school above, I was starting to learn. I wasn't even going to fit in the rock. You know, I was the school, the class was too high for me. Ah, yeah. Didn't yeah. know what they were too doing. Advanced. But it was all Irish then. It was yeah. dark and Irish, and it was all Irish. Yeah. And it, yeah. yeah. I was a bad one over when that started. Yeah. yeah. Anyone who had new idea, your father forgot all about learning Irish. Yeah. 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 You know. Yeah. Well, so that's, the, that's the changes that came over, Jack. Yeah. But, but Brigham is not an old town. Yeah. And Lady Hammond is the woman. No one has. Protestant school down there. Do you know when that was built? Did you ever look at it? 1875. 1869. Yeah, something like that. 69. Yeah. 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 Well, she, she, she done lots of things for Brigham like yeah. that, and yeah. she, she was a great woman. And she take a halfpenny at it, but I know that. Yeah. The first school she built was the, the house inside the gates in Hampton. Do you remember the, or the monkey brace were used to live mm -hmm. in it? Well, that was the original school before that one. I have that on the map, hmm. the school. That, one. that was in Hampton. That was inside the gates there. And yeah. she built that one down there. Yeah. But uh, the school above in, in Chapel Street, I don't know when that was built, really. No, that was a church, the chapel. Yeah. 
That's true. Because now with the Liberty Hall is the place, that's where they used to congregate the dead. And there was a lad made me laugh, of course you'd have to laugh. Danny Sweetman's father. Yeah. And this lad said, he was writing on the board this night, and he says to them, we're all big men. Anyone here able to spell fish? Because the fish was all fish then around the town. And his father said to some lad, C.O.D. God. Yeah. The man said, C.O.D. God. He said, I didn't ask you to spell a fish. <laughs> I said, spell the word fish. I couldn't spell yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> you write the devil. Yeah. Uh, but your people left that time at 12 year old to go to work. Didn't ah, they? Sure. Sure. I, didn't, I didn't see 12. Yeah. You know, uh, I was finished. When I tried, when I got finished, I was only about 12 or 13. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I got finished all together and we're knocking around and the next day we need to walk in the factory. I, I have a photograph 1904 of a crowd of workers outside the factory and there's a lot of young lads in it. Yeah. And I said to somebody years ago, I said, why oh, they're very young? He said, you go in 11 or 12 at that time to work. That's right, that's right. I was only about 13 when I went into it. Yeah. That's right. That's right, he said. Once you got a job, you, you, you left school. Yeah, yeah. No money, there was no money. No money around, you see. No, no money in the fight, it was very small the wages. Yeah, but it was still a few bob. Oh, yeah. 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 And you say now, Martin Fannin, the jobber's mother, was a ham. Sister of my father. Sister of your father. Oh, no. Paddy and Jack, and there was Nelly, Sissy, Biddy, Catty, and Joey. Yeah. Well, tell me this the apple yards. Do you remember the Apple Oh, yeah, uh, Apple Yards, yeah. Yeah. Where did they live or where did they come? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they would come in, they come in to work with the fight. They yeah. were Apple Yards. Yes. They lived down, down here. There was some relation to the Cashels originally, weren't there, or something? The who? The Cashels. Yes, yes, they were all related. Yeah. yeah. yeah that's right. The apple Yards, yeah. yeah. That's what it is. Apple Yards. Stuff and the next thing Johnny Cuff had to say his yard in it. Uh, well, Lady Ham Hamilton, that was the moment I had to deal with with Brigham and then there. Yeah. And what she done was good. She done good. Yeah. Then the fighties, that's the start of it, Brigham, the two fighties. Who, who did you go to? Who taught in school when you went to it? Mr. Butler, was it? Oh, uh, you went Chapel Street, so no? Oh, I went to Chapel Street, Butler. And she did, and there was an older man. Let me get his name now, what's this, his name was? Butler. Sheely. Mansfield. Cullen, Jake Cullen. Mansfield. Scary. Oh, he was after. He was after, was he? Yeah, my mama Mansfield was took te teaching that, and I finished him. I tell you, I was I there was skilled more for long before me, twenty. Yeah. anyway. Yeah. I had to become fitter than dry, you know yeah, that? Yeah. The Aunt Mary Jane had to make him great doors and waste of time. Jack Stopper or he used to drive the van or that, yeah, you know. Yeah. 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 Well, spice of bacon and that was going then, wasn't it, when you were around? The what? Spicer's Bakery. Spicer's! Paddy Daly was in it and there was someone in it before Paddy Daly. The chick and his father, didn't he move? He was a baker. He was the baker, wasn't he? Him and, him and Tom was two bakers. And Mr. Farrell. Mr. Farrell. Howard Farrell, no, he only came in. Did he? He, he, would, he had the draper shop and he'd done a bit of jobbing around with oh, the Oh, was it? That. Yeah. Yeah, they had a place, they got that place down there in the big shop and, and then the, the daughter bought where we go and used to have the solicitors. Yeah. Yeah. They only bought that lately, the oh, bunny. Yeah. Bought it for the bunny when you get married. Ah, uh, yeah. 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 Yes, alright. The they're scary people. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah. But do you remember Tolan's pub in Dublin Street? I, I would, oh, I would pat Tolan. Oh, yeah. I did well. He yeah. used to go for, the, the beer used to come in those Howard Marks. He'd go Away. and reel it in off. I would pat Tolan. He'd have feel over to Narrow Street, the back of the house. Yeah. Yeah. I told him, ah, yeah, we'll pat down. Yeah. 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 I, I only 
barely I remember, but it wasn't a pub when I remember it. I was know? always a pub until the Bukey shop is the last thing. I don't know what's in it now. There's yeah. a shop, it's there all yeah. pulled down and, yeah. and rebuilt over. Yeah. You wouldn't know Dublin Street. Yeah. Yeah. There's only a couple of living houses in it now, yeah. all shops. Yeah. Yeah. It's all changed. The yeah. forge was there beside it yeah. at Malone's. And there was a big old place for po posting bids right. from savages. Yeah, yeah down. Yeah, yeah, that's that's right. right. I remember yeah. some of it, you know. Yeah, the courthouse, the, the English built the, the courthouse. Yeah. Yeah. That's and belonged to England. The, the house where savages was, that was belonged to a Dr. Adams. I have that on the map. Mm. And do you know where the entrance to was? Was it? Was it High Street? No, the entrance to, in Dublin Street, you know Savages? Oh, Dublin Street, yeah. Savages? Yeah, that was Dr. Adams. But there was a laneway there at the... down here, over here, and it goes there was down as... at, uh, what do you call it, High Street. Oh, I knew that one, yeah. There's a right away there. Yeah. That's a right away. Yeah, that's right. And there's a gateway there, and along with the... The county Council and the other is belonging to John McMahon's. It came out of JF. And it was up for sale yeah. and I don't know why the County Council didn't buy it and do a good job. And there's only that bit of a part and someone, yeah. someone will be killed on the cars. If you step down, you walk yeah. under the car. Yeah. I know you don't yeah. have to be watching. If I see anyone I get in and get the wall, let them go by. Yeah. But there's only room, there's only, there's only 14 inches, I measure the chair yeah. on a path. And there's the yellow line is beside it with the motor car. Well, the, the entrance to the to Savage's house originally, when Dr. this doctor had it, up the lane at McKeown's, that was the entrance. And that's why uh, they tried to put a gate on that. They couldn't, because that's uh, the entrance into the back of that house, where McGovern's shop is now. So that was the original entrance into it, where Doctor had. That's I have that on the map. Yeah, and that place where I'm at the tenure, that was the original laying down from the green. Yeah, I held it the back. Of J. F. McMahon's there. No, I, I tell you, you used that butcher shop up in the lane, up up the courthouse. Yeah, he, he used to be, and he used to bring the cattle down and kill them in the yard. It was right away from the green. Oh. Peter Trusky's up there. No, it wasn't Trusky, it was Mullins, was it? Good, it was I a don't butcher, he had a butcher shop and he brought the cattle down and he killed them. Good. I know the name and it's just gone out of my head yeah. at the moment. I can't remember him. Oh ah, yeah, well, he had a butcher shop and he used the Hickey! Hickey. Paddy Hickey. That's the man who killed the cattle. And he brought them down from the, the green. He didn't bring them into the street. He drove them down the lane. Down the lane, now the, the lane ran from where? Over here at Monks's. Oh, from Monks's, yeah. Mm. And da then down. Mm. Ah, that was a, God, that was a long way, yeah. Mm. You know. That's it. Oh, that's, well, thanks very much for that. That was interesting now to get that on on tape. You know, yeah. have it for that's posterity. That, there should, that should have been looked after and really. It's on the green anyway, I'm mean, waiting for you at but it's, it runs to the back of the green and goes up on the green anyway. The entrance down in, in, in the Hickey's, he used to have the butcher shop. You Where was the butcher? At Monks's house, that's right, on the green. Yeah, Bob Monks's. Yeah, the right time. Yeah. That's it. Oh. That's where it went down. And uh, where was the butcher shop? Hickey's, do you think? Remember that? Oh, well, the butcher shop was up in, uh, in not where the one is now, in the, in the lane, at the back of the courthouse. Oh, okay. From the green, it went down yeah. from the green. Yeah. I mightn't have the lane, I mightn't have the lane now on the right. Yeah. The, there is a place at Bunks's was a river, I don't. It's, the, not, the it's not the river in town, but there's another place. Did, did, well, what was the, was there a right away up between J.F. McMahon's there? Up that to the green. That's it, up that's to the green. Yeah. That's the one. Yeah, that's that is, There is yeah. a right away there. Between Margie Davies and. 
That's, that's it. That's where the right of way is. Yeah. They used to be the cattle down. And, but the hit right in the back of the car, it was just the same. Oh, yeah. All, yeah. all from the lane. Yeah. yeah. And he used to bring them on the but He had a butcher shop right at the big old gate at the end of the, that's the right. courthouse. Yeah. That's yeah. where Paddy Hickey had the shop. Yeah. Butcher shop. Oh. I got beat them, Jack. Go away. Yeah, and he brought the cattle in from the green. And yeah. He wasn't from the town, was he? Oh, Paddy Hickey Bow Hill. Oh, Bow Hill, was it? Ah, yes. Oh, yeah. Paddy Hickey Bow Hill. He yeah. had a butcher shop there. Oh, and he used to bring the cattle down from the green. Yeah. They went on to, in, in the back. Yeah. And they killed the, killed the cattle out the back. They used to kill all the cattle yeah. before the abbot over started. They killed that. Yeah. I seen Cochran's killed them there at the back of Dr. Fulham's. Yeah, yeah, I remember that one, Abbey. Then she killed them below the yard, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So they killed them everywhere then, didn't they? Oh, well, no, they had the place and they would shed out yeah. the back. Yeah. Oh, yeah. With them doing it. Yeah. Do you remember the shop down, Bernie, beside? the bank. It used to be between Lawless's shop and the bank. There was a shop there. Lawless's shop. Lawless. Uh, Lawless. There was some relation to the court, is it here? McElroy. McElroy. Oh, the, the bank is down here. Yeah. Oh, yes. So, well, what do you call them? Lawless's and uh, McElroy's. And Kinnan's. And uh, Dylan's. Uh, wasn't Dylan who had the shop there, then? But Canaan, Thomas Canaan. Thomas Canaan had a place there, yeah, all right. Yeah. But the big shop was Dylan's. Yeah. But it was somebody's name that was yeah. on it before that. Yeah. And then Innesis. Yeah, Macca Road or Jane. Macca Road was there too, that's right. Yeah. It. yeah. Macca yeah. Road, yes. Yeah. Because uh, there was a man from the Knoll in 1906. He had a photographic, uh, a bicycle shop there. Royley was his name. He was milton This is 1906 now. He wasn't too long in us. Uh, and uh, because the sun... 1906, that would be a bit before. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But he he gave me photographs. Aye. Uh, he, he, the bicycle shop wasn't doing well. Uh, and photography was starting. So he decided to go into photography. And uh, I met the son at a meeting. And he says, you do a bit of photography, don't you? I said, I do, but see, I have glass negatives at home. My father used to do, he had a photographic shop in Barbrigan beside the bank. Aye. And uh, it was a bicycle shop first. And so, so, see, see, and there's two or three photographs, old photographs of Barbrigan them. And I said, I'd love to see them. Aye. So he brought them in to me. And one of the photographs was taken crossing the head from Clenard Street and showing the houses in the back lane. Aye. And the swans on the canal. That's the right. little houses right up along. That's right. And a gas lamp That's right, right where you come down the lane. That's right. That now, is. there were glass negatives about that size. Right. At that time, they take a photograph, you know, they put their head under it. I know. You know that, know? Yeah. And there were glass negatives. You see, and there's no electricity at that time. That's right. So he would have to, when he get the negative and process it, he would clamp the glass onto the developing paper and leave it out in the sun for maybe a half an hour. And that's how they took the photograph. And he, the chap, I gave him back the negative and thanked him. And he gave the, fo uh, the camera that he took them with, is in the museum up in Lusk Church. Yeah. He gave it to the museum. But that was the old photograph I got of the bank laying. That's right. You're and right about the bank. Yeah, that's the picture in the bank. Yeah, and that's yeah. it. And uh, I was shown Lily, Lily Markey. I did some years. Loved to see our photographs. And I brought her up the one at the back lane. And she says, Jack was there at the time. You know, I said, Jack, give me me glasses so I see what he has here. You know. And oh, holy God, she says. She named everyone. The the granny cap. Yeah, and the um, Yeah, well, the other... Yeah, the Gaff, the yeah. and, 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 and there was three houses. Yeah. And there was a, a Crosby lived in the lane, the taxi cars, yeah. all that. The Granny Cap. And I asked her, who was the Granny? There was a person named Cap. Yeah, That's right. she was 90, how are you doing? She was 90 when she died. Oh. And she, she choked on a two-shilling bit, she got senile. And they used to call her Granny Cap. Yeah. Because she wore, you know, the that's cap of the right. bishop, no, she, no, she wore no, this no, little yeah. cap on her head. Upon it, yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. And they called her Granny Cap. 
and she was uh, Lily Markey's granny or great granny. Yeah, she the two niggas yeah. are Markey's. Yeah. Right, no, she, she, well, she would be. She was Tom Smith's granny. That's right. That's right. That's yeah. who she was. The granny cap. Yeah, the granny oh, cap up in Mike Lane. Yeah. Mike Lane. And I, I, I asked Lily, what was it like living in the Mike Lane? You know what? Mm -hmm. I says, I'll tell you what it was like. She says, there was the row of houses down there. There was a row of houses up the lane. There was another row across. McBride's living two-story house. Yes. They, got, they had the lodging houses to call them down. Yeah. And she says the cesspit was in the middle. And in the winter when it rained, she says, there was just one big room, she says, and a door. And a partition about six foot high, dividing them. And my father, she said, used to have to dig a trench from the back door to the front to let the water and sewage run out into the canal. Now, now she says, that's what it was like, she says, and if anyone tells you the good old times, she said, there was nothing good about that. The way it was built for the picture hall was, there was houses, and then there was houses, a wall, and then there was Lady Crosby, and there was a little alleyway, that's what she was talking about, yeah. and there was a narrow place out of the bike, and everything was done there. Yeah, that's right. The cesspit. And then, uh, Dunigan's. Dan Dunigans, and there was another house, there were three houses from that, we used to go up Dally, yeah. Dally, you remember the old yeah. Dally? Yeah. Back up to, to, yeah. to, 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 to the big houses. Yeah. Well, like up then know. towards Val Lacey's Forge, yeah. the, the granny lived there, the granny Margie, and my, gra was, my granny, and they used to call it the Steps. Open the steps. Because That's you went up three or four steps. Oh, it's the three or four. Oh, oh, four the funny Fox lived there too. Yeah. It's opposite that. Yeah. Ah. Opposite Van Lazy Fox. There was a couple of cottages there. Yeah, that was yeah. yeah. there was houses there. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 and me, me, that's where my mother was born. Oh, well, you're there. Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I have photographed them old houses there. Mm. Down there. Uh, and the forge. You know. That's, that is oh, Peter Fox. Yeah. That was me, that was my grandpa. Yeah. And his wife, she was a Yeah. That's where they. That's where they live. Yes. So he moved. He moved up then to Dublin Street there beside where Van Lacey used to live in yeah. Dublin Street. Yeah. Mm. But then he moved over here to the Market Green. Yeah. Now the house that been sold there. Yeah. Yeah. He moved over to there. Well, the other thing Lily Canning was telling me. You remember Lily Hanrahan? Or Lily ah, yeah, she did yeah. the. Yeah. One third of the yeah. Well, she told me like yeah, she was telling me that where the forge is built up there. There was a bit of a row going on about it, even up to the present. You know? Forward. Uh, the who owned it? Yeah. Oh, right. Aces yeah. Forward. yeah. Mm. And she told me the story. Oh, I know who owns that. She says, Oh, Hanrahan built Scanlon's. Yeah. And that was a hardware shop. That's right. Right? Yeah. And uh, he was there. And at the hardware and grocery, it was a hardware and grocery shop at the time. Mm. If you wanted anything, you get married to it in your bought your bed, your bought your book. Like for Tommy Cody, you name. Yeah. <laughs> and she used to, she said, she was in as a young girl, and the even out the back, she used to help to make the catches for the guns. And they had dynamite. Because the Barrotter Union used to do the roads then. You know, were repairs and that. <laughs> and, uh, they bought all their stuff there, and dynamite and all, everything they had, and they used to supply the blacksmiths, right? But to make a long story short, Lacey wanted to build a forge, mm -hmm. right? And he had no money. So McNally said he'd horses and all that. He'd build it for him if he'd get a bit of ground. That's right. So Hanrahan said, look at there's a bit of ground down there at the back. You can use that. Yeah. You know, I'm not using it. And if you go up and they're still there, the, the place was in the corner there, the bellows. And over it there was a window with a, there used to be a big shutter on it. Mm. And the reason the big shutter was on it, when they'd want the iron for the wheels, you know, yeah. to save carrying it right around, they used to just push open <laughs> that and they'd push it through. They'd take it through. And it was actually Hanrahan's 
who owned that. That's right. That's right. And Sam McNally was going to build on it. That's right. And he was stopped. And Corrie is claiming it. And Corrie is dead right. But the funny thing about it was, if Lacey had to be cute, Leo Lacey, he could have claimed it. You know? But what happened then, uh, Barney? Hanrahan decided to build the altar rails, as he told me, right? And during the time, it was three thousand pounds or something for it. He died. Now, the bank wanted that money, right? That's right. So the professor book, who who was supposed to be uh, a vet, a vet, he shows you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a, a BS after his name. He lived over here in the bow. Yeah. He said he'd take over half of it. And the t- Hanron's two sisters said they'd run the other half, right? But your man, V.S., he was up in court for putting V.S. after his name. And he, he for veterinary surgeon, and he told the judge it wasn't for veterinary surgeon, it was for very successful V.S. Uh, that's right. <laughs> V.S., he put V.S. Yeah, yeah. very <laughs> successful. It wasn't veterinary surgeon, it was for very successful. But... He now wasn't, he wasn't a vet. <laughs> he was in the temperature. But the two of them anyway, in the shop, and they were running for twelve months. What happened was, nobody paid their bills then. Farmers like sold their seed, mm. and they didn't pay for six months. That's right. You know, the and the same with the council and all these. And this solicitor from Scaries was sent in to look after the whole affairs, and he said it'd take twelve months. After twelve months, he collected all the monies and disappeared and was never heard of. The bank wanted our money, so they went to Bork and they said, look, we want to get them two women out, and when we get them out, we give the whole place to you. This was Cox. And he went to the two women and he said the same, look, we want to get this fella Bork out of here, and when, when he goes out, we give it to you. You know, and when he got the whole lot of them out, he closed it and sold it to Eugene. Scanner for three thousand pound. Eugene Scanner's father for three thousand pound. And she told me that story. And uh, she wouldn't put it. I had the video I'd done a video, but she wouldn't put that bit on video because there was too many sick people still around. Yeah, you know. And Mister Scanner, Eugene's father, he came here to walk down in Comiskey's Bakery. That's where he started. Do you remember that yeah. there was a little bakery down the lane? And Lily told me uh, at that time in the bakery, they had a brickyard as well. And they used to call Scandal, Mr. Here's Mr. Brown and a white. Mm-hmm. And the, I said, What did they call that? Because he said, If you walked in the brickyard, you had to buy your bread there. That's right. And he, he, you had the boy a brown and a white. So they always call him, here comes Mr. Brown and a white. Uh-huh. And he used to stay over in Dillon's. They had a little a house down there in Drada Street, across That's the right. road from that lane somewhere. That's right. He stayed in digs there. And he met a woman and married May Dillon. She was May Dillon's aunt. And she married her. Yeah. So there you are. Well, Lacey's forward. Are there, are them things there? Did you look at them books there? Did I didn't know, no. They only used you. I'll have a look now. The, the Lacey's forward, that's belonging to the, 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 the house in Dublin Street. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I, know, I knew that already. Yeah. I've come for 40 years now. Yeah. 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 You know, mm. that's the, I'm still lying there. I think there's a bit of a. Uh, did you, oh, I think it's been sorted. It has been sorted. Yeah. yeah. When, when Nelly went to build the houses there now, the yeah. house has been built there now. Is there? Yeah. Yeah, well, well, I, built them yeah, and I he, was he, was going, he was going to build down there yeah. and Corey stopped them. Yeah, Corey stopped them. Yeah, yeah so I think it's been sorted. Well, Corey yeah. owned it, that, that would belong to Corey's yeah. shop. Yeah. Yeah. Right? yeah. And my mother used to say that that was belong to Hanrahan's there. Yeah, or that's right. Because right. she, oh, she, she was born there. Yeah. yeah. My mother was born yeah. opposite that. But yeah. The little college was opposite that. That's right. It was opposite that. Yeah, that's where my mother was born. Yeah. I have a photograph of them houses. It would have been took from the hill of Trinard looking down towards Balbriggan. And you can actually see the white sheets. And I said to your man, McMahon, do you remember Willie McMahon? I said to uh, Willie was looking at it. 
and I said what's the white sheet you know it's now says he they used to put the linen out to bleach it yeah, the bleach, yeah. Right. yeah. The and the shows are on the things mm -hmm. you know and there was another row of houses up the far side there's the mill there at the back of the mill yeah, I have uh, uh, there, uh, there, uh, there, uh, there in the photograph, mm. I've had John mm. Valentine photograph mm. up along there, mm. you know. So, it's still plenty of history, but you, you, were you always interested in history, man? You, you knew it. Hard. You seem to know a good lot of it, <laughs> you know. I don't believe half of what he says. Oh, oh no, you know, he's always, you only got his right. Yeah, that's right. Well, you'd have been the he got some he got some of it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Barney when the salt house closed 
Somebody said it was about 1930. Ah, uh, it was later than that, Jay. Was it? My God, I was walking up to 1930, indeed it was. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Should that? Yeah. I think I remember myself. I got salt in it. Yeah, I don't know it was made there. Or not. You were giving ten of the gates. Oh, yeah, shit. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. right, the school. The antelope. Yeah, and, and the Johnson. No, the antelope. Antelope. I remember the antelope yeah. coming yeah. in. Yeah. The, the, and she, she the salt boat used to come in with the salt. She bring in salt. Yeah. She used to bring in salt with the with, with, with the with, with the two coal boats. Yeah. Well, Flower McDonald had the boat. You see, see the coal and and, and the salt. salt. Yeah. Flower McDonald's. Yeah. I never seen anyone belong any McDonald's. It's yeah. all just a name. Yeah. Yeah. The man up in Dublin used yeah. to run it. But Denny Johnson, mm. that was in nineteen forty three or four. Because a bro Joe that's in Birmingham, the brother, he went off on that boat, Demi Johnson. She was a three master schooner. Uh, I don't remember her, remember the antelope? Yeah, well, she was. That was after her, she, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the sod, yeah. the sod, it was not that long. She, so I heard about some Jack. Yeah. 1940, I'm not in charge. Yeah, sir. Yeah. I remember packets of sod. I remember going to the buying shop. Yeah, a young lad. Yeah, yeah. you get that. You used to get bring down a pillar slip or a white bag, and yeah. you got the same half a stone of salt, the yeah. same as flour. Or you the get same as going to spice or get a bread and flour. I used to get from my uncle and make a bone to here. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. It used to be salt and pigs or something. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, then that's that's right. And I then that not like now. Forties, 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 in the forties, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, in the forties, yeah, yeah. Well, not that long out of action, Jay. Yeah, yeah. Should the coal has gone out of action too? The coal boats, oh, no stop, coal yeah. boats either. No. Uh. But uh, do you remember any houses up the rope walk lane? The rope walk. There was a row of houses up there as you go up that where that garage is now, and down Drogas. Down Lackens. Oh, not there. Uh, Drogas Street. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Is now. There was the, the Queenie High lived in little house there. But there was houses on the map. Now I'm talking about the Hampton. They map. come up to the gate, to the gate. Made us was on one side. Yeah. And then there was the, the coming up on your left. Yeah, there was, there was a row. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. There was yeah. houses there. Yeah. That's right. The row of houses. Right, the one right down in front of the garage was yeah, there. That's right. And up the lane, you know, because mm -hmm. I I have the map at Hampton. Up to where the football gate, yeah. there was houses there. That's right. Yeah. Uh, You're right. That and is right. Uh, the maps, all the maps of the streets, and it would show, we say, this house on the map as number A1, and it would say, this belongs to Barney Hammond yeah. at a rent of a shilling a week, providing he whitewashes the front of it <laughs> once a year. This sort of thing is in yeah. it. And there's another one in it where it says, Jane somebody in Tenard Street, and she had to pay so much a week, and she had to contribute two and sixpence towards the upkeep of a wherry. Oh, well, here, here. A wherry, a small, which would be a small boat. Uh, a wherry. Mm, a wherry. A wherry. It'd be a small boat, you know, a small fishing boat. And she had to pay two shillings or something a week towards the I upkeep of it. I remember the that. Mary Anne or the Mary Jane or something was the name of the boat. The name of the boat now, yeah. yeah. The boat was the Mary, all right. Yeah. The boat called the Mary, and the boat called Mary Jane. Yeah, this was that's the Mary right. Jane. Oh, the Mary Jane, that's yeah. right. That's the one. Yeah, she had to that's right. that. And, and the Mary. Yeah. The Mary was a very bad boat. They didn't, they didn't like, the fishermen didn't like her. She, she used to, the oh. weather got, she go yeah. over, tumble over. And well, that's what it used to She wasn't bit down right in the bottom. Yeah. You know, she was an old, kind yeah. of an old yeah. bumper. And the funny thing about the only like shift, yeah, the only two now was in the town that I remember. I one house still that Rankins and Chapel Street oh, yeah. that's in it. Eddie Rankin, oh, yeah. Chapel Street, that's eighteen seventy five. And he had to put a roof on the shed behind at the cost of a hundred pounds or something towards the upkeep of it it says. And uh, Jerry was telling me, Jerry Richardson when she was alive, that, mm. like Eddie was our father, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she said yeah. Yes, he says and that's Cur Curry's house. And she, she said, whatever, something happened in the usual, he lost it, you know. But he, that was originally a shed beside the house. 
or something like that. Right. But the other one is was a uh, man that at largely kind of had the forge. Dickie McGarry. Mm. I mean, Dickie was in it. Uh, and he had the right a way through to remove manure from the rear of the premises. You know, a right away to remove manure from the premises. You know, it's a very interesting read. Oh, I don't know. Know. How long that could be, yeah? You know, so. There's lots of things like that, but you can't get worried if that was any good to what I told you. Ah, yes, it's a, it's a record anyway. Yeah. You know, I, I mean. You've them all up. Oh, yeah, you have them all. I, I have a record of Lily Canning now. And do you know who I have? Uh, Billy McComb, that when he was home from England. He's coming home this hour. Is he? Yeah, you want you want to hear tell that I tell them about the, the Wiggy's funeral. Uh, or when well, he was best man. <laughs> he was best man for your man Dell and what do you call him? That Mar Dar Marty Daisy, yeah, he, yeah. Uh, yeah. I said that uh, how come I said to Billy that you were all best was man. Of, uh, Charlie doing yeah. the blow. Says I how come says I you were uh, always best man? See I was the only one that had the bloody suit. The father and um that one Christie and my father were still great buddies. Yeah. Uh, Christy was the yeah, same. So, so I don't. Yeah, I video him just like you. I have it on record, you know. <laughs> That's the only reason. Oh, you want to hear him? He's some character. Uh, so he's, he's really some man. Uh, you know. So he's coming home this this year. Is so it's so the daughter was telling me. Ah, be great. She's over. She's over there. She walks over the Blundy girl. That's she walks right. over there in the dispensary. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. she was telling me he's coming yeah. home. Now. That'd be great, you know. Yeah. Oh, that, that was great. No oh, yeah. You know, I have a look at them all the boots now. Oh, you had to take the record. You know, I just put them on the, the video of the page. It don't take a few minutes. Have you, have you got that stuff with that store somewhere around? Uh, no, not yet. I, ha I have most of it. And Joe Cordes has a lot of it. Oh, yeah. So if we walk it this way, like, if I get a photograph historically, I give it Joe a copy. Mm -hmm. And Joe gets one, he gives me a copy. Mm -hmm. Because as I said, if I die tomorrow the next day, Chris will have to move out in the bin. And I said, you, if you hear a bang happen to me, Joe, I said, get round to the back door and get between the door and the bin and catch the stuff as it comes out. Did <laughs> you get the photograph down in the square that time? Oh, what was that? I, I, I had it down there with Paddy Dunn, do you remember? Oh, yeah. You yeah. yeah. have that, have you? Yeah, I have that, yeah. yeah. And, uh, oh, lots of other ones. Not only little children are playing on it. That's like right. Girls. Yeah. That's right. And before the toilet was built, it was yeah, only a right. copy you have anyway. Do you, do you know what, uh, the extraordinary thing about that, I have photographs of very old ones, you know, and I have one below the tower, yeah, in it, when it was in its heyday, when there was a band playing in front of it and flags yeah. flying on it, and you can see the old Coast Guard station. That's right. You know, in the, in the you know, can, can you see the two, the two little cottages over the far side? don't see them. Oh, no, the little river comes out. Yeah, no, you can't see them. You know. Who lives in them? That, that, that was a lion killer or something over there. There were houses. Oh, the house, yeah. Well, the house down along the cliff that fell down. Mm. Yeah. Well, the granny told me, I don't know who lived in it, but the granny told me as a young girl, she used to play in the garden in front of that. See, I played in the garden in the front of that house. But I never remember who, who she said lived in it, you know. But it shows how much of it's gone. You know? But anyway, there was a. It showed the, the old board going out to the Black Rock, you know. Yeah. And there's seven or eight kids on it, girls, mm -hmm. you know. And I was showing it to Mick Brady, old Mick, you know. And he said, oh yeah. And I said, look at the, the girls. No, he said, they could be boys. That's right. That's right. That's right. I said, what? Yes, yes right. I see. And he told me the story. Sure. And the story was, why the dress is boys? Because more boys died than young girls. You know, at infancy. Mm -hmm. And the suspicious Irish people believe that the fairies took the boys. Uh, you know? 
So exactly, and this is what I tell you. And Mick told me that story. Now, I was down in Slane Castle, and we were in having a cup of tea. We were out for a spin, and there was a tour on. And the lassie came around and says, "Would you like to tour around the castle?" I said, "Yeah, we will." So she brought us in and into this huge big room, you know. And there was this huge painting that was, I'd say, the size half that wall, you know. And the beautiful, the lady is slain, or whatever what you call her. And this little girl beside her, you know, maybe back in 18 or 70 and something. Mm. And charge. Yeah, and she says, that's the lady marching, or whatever you call her, of slain. And that's her son. It's not her daughter. And she says, now you'll wonder why. And she told the exact same story that they dressed them, the boys, in girls' clothes. That's right. Because the boys like that. I remember it. I yeah. remember that. Yeah. That's really right. Extraordinary. Did, did, uh, I remember Mickey in the fire that had blue blue dresses. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. They lads. I was going oh, to yeah. say, did, did some of the, car the, the black man character people live, live, live over in the tower? Who? Character. Black man. Right, that's what I was telling them, the great grandfather. Mm. Aye, Mary Jane Hall's father and, and my old Marx's. The black man chart married a, a Dowan. She was a Dowan in, in the tower. That was the first people that was in the brigade. There was no houses at all. They didn't learn them houses that you're talking about. Yeah. Oh, but the first thing oh, they did. Really? Yeah. Oh, down, that's where they live. Hmm. God, yeah. The tower, they lived in the tower. Yeah. The, 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 what do you call them? But of course, course, when you think of it that time, take away the rail. The black man. Well, yeah, that's what I say. You know, they were yeah. fishermen. Yeah. The black man's heart was. They the were fishermen. It was yeah. the only house that was over there at Save Point, a little place, and he was a coast watcher. And she lived in the tower, and she, her name was. I'm not the name, I'm always forgetting it. Dowan. Dowan, Jemmy Dowan, and she was Jemmy Dowan's sister. Yeah. And they lived in the tower, in the tower. That's yeah. what they, and he married her there with the tower, and he went down with the boat. There were boats sunk, and he went down with the black man's heart, and that's what they called him. Yeah, but what relation was the black man to you? Your great great grandfather.